In the heart of the Mediterranean, there are two large islands. One is known as the land of the Sardis, and the other is known as the land of olive trees and fig trees. Together, they have a rich Phoenician, Greek, and Roman history, and scenes like this that look straight out of paradise. Sardinia and Sicily have so much to be curious about. Sicily and Sardinia lie in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea and at the crossroads of history. Today, of course, you might think of these two islands as Italian, but as we will soon discover over their histories, they have been ruled and influenced by the Greeks, the Romans, the Phoenicians, North African Arabs, and settled by ancient tribes with slightly familiar sounding names like the Siculi in Sicily and the Sheridan in Sardinia. Why did everyone want to conquer these islands? Well, just look at a map for the answer. As each ancient culture developed in seafaring and trade to control these islands in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea would expand their empires. So each culture left its mark from ancient Greek temples to Roman amphitheaters to medieval city street plans that you can still walk today to the origins of a writing system we still use today. So, here's what I'm curious about in Sicily and Sardinia. Who is this woman on the Sicilian flag, and why does she have three legs? What does the island of Mosia have to do with the English alphabet? Where can you find a temple to Venus in Erice? When was the number five incorporated into this oh-so-steep path in the village of Savoca? How does this popular street food tell us about Sicilian history? So much to be curious about in Sicily and Sardinia.